Oh, it's two. <gasps> How have I had this phone this long and not known? What's up? It's me, Audra, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. And if you are new here, well, you're in for a treat. All right, if you enjoy chaotic frenetic energy, you like beauty, you like horror, and a little bit of commentary thrown in between, like today, then I suggest you go ahead and subscribe for the low, low price of zero, zero dollars. I will tell you a random fact about myself. And today's random fact is, I unabashedly love the movie Burlesque. It is fantastic. Now normally I'm not a musical girl, but that's a good one. It's so fun. And I have a very good, strong feeling you're gonna see me trying to remember this movie and like its title in, in the bloopers at the end of this because that was whoosh. Anyway, here are my socials. I love hanging out with y'all. It's such a great time. Uh, I like going back and forth, even though I'm really slow to check my DMs, but please like, just give me, give me, Give me time. All right. What are we here with today, Audra? Well, first of all, at forest sight, but make it goth. <sighs> okay, no. All right, what we're here with today is, I know that there are a lot of people who either uh, are thinking about starting a channel or you have a small channel and you're always looking for advice. And I think sometimes, like I know when I was a very, 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 very small channel, I'm still a very, 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 very small channel. But when I had like 600 subscribers, 300 subscribers, things like that, there are things that I wish that I had known that would have helped me. And I also wish that like I had felt like I could approach other creators and be like, hey, so like, should I do this thing? Instead of feeling very like awkward and weird and just kind of floating along the YouTube sphere by myself. So I thought I would tell you some things that I wish that I had known and things that you may or may not have to do. Um, most of it's down, but <laughs> to, you know, have content, have fun and enjoy yourself. And for those of you who aren't creators, I hope that this is just something fun for you to watch and things for you to look out for. <laughs> hey there. I just realized as I was editing this, that I do strongly believe that I got this idea from Mia, from Mia's virtual vanity and, uh, Millie from bad to the brow. So I will le link their channels below. Okay. That's it for now. All right. Now some of this we've talked about, Emily and I have talked about this on a live stream before. So some of this won't be new to you, but thing number one, do not, do not do sub for sub. Okay. I remember when I started YouTube and there were so many people and even on Instagram, people would be like sub for sub, sub for sub. You sub to me, I'll sub to you. And at the time it seemed like a really good idea for growth because back then you only had to have like 400, I feel like it was 400 subscribers or, and or a thousand subscribers and 400 hours of watch time, something like that. And then it just like bumped up. I can't remember. Listen. Resident old bitchy YouTube. All right, but it seemed like such a good idea to grow, right? We all subscribe to each other and watch each other's channels. The problem is even if you did not have to leave your home for work, like let's say you are a stay-at-home parent, let's say um, you are independently wealthy to a degree, if, even if that was the case, you can't, you, there's only so many hours in the day that you can watch YouTube content, right? So if you break it down and say, okay, well, let's just assume everyone who you sub to sub, sub for sub with, their videos are 15 minutes long. Then that means you can only watch four videos an hour, meaning, wait, can we just appreciate how quickly I did that math? Because that was really fast. And like, I just want y'all to know, look, like, math isn't my strong point. And there I was, boom, boom, boom. Then go back and watch that part and then like, and then finish. I'm just saying, I'm proud of me. <laughs> you, you like, you can't watch all these people. So if you suddenly like all these people subscribe, you can't watch all of them. You just can't, it's like not possible. And fun fact, they're probably not watching you either. So you're kind of running into this like net zero situation where you're not really helping each other at all. You're subscribing to each other's channels, but you can't watch each other's content. Not only that, 
but sometimes you don't even like their content. And that's no, there's nothing wrong with that. There's people who don't like my content. That's fine. They're wrong. But that's fine. So knowing that you have to realize that that was such a horrible idea. I really wish I hadn't done that because it just put me in such a bad position because you also don't think about like watch time. You also don't think about comments and the algorithm because you don't know that also at the time. But like, so you're not thinking about that. So imagine you have 600 subscribers, but like consistently you're getting like 30 views. So it's not even just that YouTube isn't pushing it, right? Because there might have been a push if all 600 of those people, like half of them were watching. That's why sub for sub doesn't work. Instead, when you run up on people in live chats or whatnot, and you find out that they have a channel, check out their content, make some decisions. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. But you know, don't, don't get the whole about it. Just relax. I find that if I find anybody in my comments who says anything about this, and this is another thing not to do as a small YouTuber, I guess we'll call this number two, do not be in everybody's stuff like, oh, great content, why don't you check out my channel? <sighs> okay, the easiest way I'm gonna explain this is, let's say you are having a party, okay? It's a fantastic party. I mean, not in this pandemic, but let's say the pandemic is over, you're having a party. It's a really nice party. You have people over, it's going well, and then somebody in your party goes, oh, this is a really nice party, you should come to my party. It's over here. And you're like, but I'm at my party. I'm, it's happening now, like I'm, I'm at it. Like don't just, what I'm saying is, don't go shit in other people's houses, it's rude. <laughs> like you just, if you want people to notice, like be in the comments talking and like commenting on what's happening in the, in the video, but don't constantly be like, oh I have a channel, oh I have a channel, because what happens is people get overwhelmed, they get upset, especially if in a live, live stream, like people won't say it, but they do get annoyed, they do get upset, because one, again, they're having their party. If you're showing up at, at their party being like, oh, I'm here, like da 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 da, it's rude. It's taking attention from that other person, from their channel, from their home and their content. And it's also not endearing you to anyone. So just be in the comments, say hello, say what's up. And you know, nosy bitches like myself, I check on a lot of people. So, hmm, okay. <laughs> the next thing is going to be, uh, talking about expensive equipment, the third thing, I guess. Do not feel like you have to go out and buy expensive equipment, and please don't do it. I know that there are people who will say, like, oh, you have to have good camera quality, you have to have great sound, you have to have all of this stuff. Fun fact, if I like your content, I'm literally not like freaking out over whether or not the sound is top notch. I am not having a shit fit over whether or not the video quality is like the highest tier of video quality ever. I'm enjoying you and your content. It doesn't even make sense to me that for me personally, this is a me thing, you don't have to do this. But I say this because when you go out and buy all this equipment to start your channel, right? You don't even know if you like it. Like you, you have no idea if you even like doing it. Like what if you start doing it and you start doing the editing and the filming process and you realize you hate all of it and you've just spent like $1,500 on expensive equipment and guess what? You're not gonna be able to sell the majority of it back for what you purchased it for because why would I buy a used camera for the exact same amount that I could get a brand new one? So my recommendation is Film on whatever you have. If you have a webcam, or if you even have to get like a fairly cheap webcam that's 30 or 40 bucks. If you have your your laptop camera, use that. Your cell phone, I the, the quality on those has gotten significantly better. It's not a bad deal. No one's gonna make fun of you, except for yourself. You're the only one bringing yourself down on that. Stop doing that. Use what you have and enjoy it. And until you feel like this is something you really like doing, I wouldn't want to invest that much money in it. Because honestly, when I started doing YouTube, I wasn't even sure I was going to keep doing YouTube. I felt like nobody was even watching me. And there were times where I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do this. But I kind of just kept at it. And the thing was, because I hadn't invested all of this money and expensive cameras and sound equipment and all of this stuff, it was easier for me to just like take these breaks and kind of refine my content and get to where I enjoy what I'm doing and where I'm not following the pack. 
So yeah, don't buy expensive equipment, use what you have, and then once you feel confident and you start feeling good, start upgrading. The other thing too, just a quick side note, is if you spend all that money right now, the chances of you getting your investment back is very slim, very, very slim. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. If you want to do it, this is all just like helpful information. If you want to do what you want to do, I am not your mom because I don't want children, but <laughs> you may not get your money back. Okay. Because if you spend all this money, if you're not even monetized yet, it's, it could be years before you see a return on your investment. So yeah, don't buy expensive equipment, use what you got. And if you do have to buy some stuff, get some inexpensive things. You don't have to buy like a whole intense lighting setup. If you want to get a ring light, or if you just want to buy some fairly inexpensive lighting from Amazon, you do you boo. Mm. All right. Next up, please, for the love of all that is holy in 2020 going into 2021, don't feel like you have to have a very specific niche for your channel, because I think that there were, there were the days, where you had to fit into like, this is what I do on my channel. And then this is what I do, or even worse, feeling like you have to separate all of your different parts of yourself into different channels. Okay. Number one, it's very, very difficult. If you have a full time job <laughs> trying to have three or four different YouTube channels for all of your interests, right? So it's very, or even just like a Twitch account, but Twitch is a little bit easier in the sense of, I'm not going to get into it because I'm not really good at Twitch. I'm just saying that it's a, it's smidgenly easier because it is a live stream, not having to film content. I'm not saying that it's easy because I live stream as well. That's what I'm getting at. Um, but when you start doing that one, you're, you're piecemealing and you're still like refining yourself as it stands anyway, especially as you're newer and like you're trying new stuff, you're a smaller content creator, you're still refining yourself. I think that having that sensation that you have to create like a new channel for like every new endeavor, here's the only way that I've seen that that works is if you have the subscriber count and you're getting the AdSense money on your current channel, so that when you move over to another channel, you can have a good chunk of your audience go there with you and then you can do this thing. But when you are a smaller channel, trying to break yourself up into little bits, one f fun fact, uh, unless you decide that it's just going to be all live streams on one of those channels, trying to edit and upload videos for several different channels is a pain in the ass. Okay. I know because I did it because I have three channels <laughs> and it was a pain in the ass because even just uploading, remembering to like switch out of this account, switch back into the new account and upload this. I had to like get my shit together and just be like, you know what? You know what? This isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. So do what you do. And most importantly, like I honestly think that the only way that you ever split content is if it's so divergent from what you are doing, like if you're like beauty content, right? If what you are doing is like so divergent, like let's say you want to have like a, a family vlog channel or like family vlog or whatever, then you might want to go ahead and have a channel for that specifically because not everybody is into that and that makes sense, right? But realistically, if you're doing beauty content and you're doing the beauty and the beauty and the beauty and, and if you're like, what's the and beauty and crime, beauty and talking about movies, beauty and comedy. If you're doing the beauty and just keep a beauty channel. Like you don't have to fit into like one special little box to, to fit in. Just do you have fun, enjoy it, build. And finally, my last bit of advice on this whole thing. Listen, I know I said finally, and that is a lie. That is a lie. There's at least three or four more things coming after this. Um, thank you to ADHD. I did have a list. I wrote everything down, but in typical Audra fashion, I realized, oh my gosh, I didn't write down these things. And now we're going to talk about them. So that was the last thing on the list, but it's not the last thing that we're going to talk about. So I keep saying finally in this and it's, it's, it's rarely finally. So prepare yourself. All right. <laughs> be yourself. Okay. Now I know that that sounds like everybody says that be yourself, be yourself, but seriously, be yourself. There's already a Samantha March. There's already a Hannah Smokey Glow. There is already a Robin Christie. There's already a Jackie Ina. There's already a Nima Tang. You see how I went through all those names? It's because I got to three and then I was like, I, I, I went to four and then I was like, oh snap. And then I had to hit five because you know how I feel about even numbers. But there's already those people. They already exist. So by you attempting to behave like them, 
what for? Like they already exist. I'm already watching that person. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't need to see like a carbon copy of them. Be you, be who you are. Like, and I'm gonna tell you this from a perspective of somebody who, if you go way back in my old content, how hard I was trying to be normal, it hurts my feelings sometimes to look at it. I'm not ashamed, but it does hurt my feelings. I was really trying very hard to be like, I'm normal like everyone else. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, I'm just like all the normal people and I don't definitely don't burp or curse. I'm just a, a lady with, a pink nude eye. So like that was the thing. <laughs> but the thing is obviously I'm still discovering, I was still discovering and trying to figure out how to do this thing the way that I wanted to do it. And I'm definitely going to tell you that it does. Me again, I'd also like to recommend that you don't watch the larger channels while you are trying to establish yourself because quite honestly, it can create some envy. It can make you feel down on yourself. It can beat you up because if you're looking at somebody who has 200,000 subscribers or uh, a million subscribers, you can very easily be looking at their channel being sad that you don't have this fancy background or all the makeup sitting back there or whatever the fuck it is that can bring you down and make you doubt yourself and your content and how you are doing. So I would highly recommend that you stay out of watching very large content creators because it builds like jealousy and it makes you feel bad. Comparison is the thief of joy. Okay, I promise. No, I don't promise, but I'm hoping that this is the last time you see me here. All right, bye-bye. It is hard to make content when you're trying to model yourself after others and don't feel like you have to like get involved in other stuff. I feel like this is like a little extra thing in here. Don't feel like you have to get involved in things like just because that is a tidal wave that's happening, you don't have to get involved. So if you don't wanna like comment on drama, don't, all right? Don't feel like you have to. Just because commentary is like a really big and it's always gonna be, be big, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's always gonna be big because commentary, it's just, it's nice to hear people's opinions on varying situations within the world. And it's not just beauty, there's commentary all over YouTube and I just sit there and watch it. I just eat it up. I just found this one creator, don't know her name, I'll have to go look, but like does all this stuff on cults and I'm like, it's so fascinating. But <laughs> all of that to say, being yourself is so important because people come to watch you, right? Nobody is coming to watch you be an imitation of yourself or of somebody else. And I started to realize as soon as I started just being like, eh, fuck it, I'm just like, I'm strange. I'm an odd little duck. I do weird things. I, I sing randomly all the time for no reason. My dog doesn't calm down. He, uh, my old place, he was often in the video because I was like, listen, he doesn't, I can't put him anywhere. I have a one bedroom apartment. What do you want? So once I just started like really relaxing and being myself, it was one easier to create content because I was just having fun. And two, oh, it was so freeing to just be myself. It was so freeing. It made me feel like I could actually enjoy doing YouTube as opposed to the way that I felt when I was trying so hard to put on this like perfect persona of the person that I thought people wanted to see. Cause I am far from perfect. I'm kind of a nightmare and that's okay. <laughs> but be yourself and, and I said that that was my last one, but I feel like I'm still lying because I need to like sidewind into what I was talking about that you don't have to feel like you have to jump on every trend. You don't, you really don't. I, I know that it gets, um, very easy to feel, like very tempting to feel like you have to jump into it. Let me tell you another quick story. They're all quick stories about my failures as a YouTuber. But I thought it would be a good idea for me to, to, to try my hand at commenting on the drama and the beauty community. You know what, I didn't like it. Uh, one, I don't like to research. It's just that I don't, I don't, I don't enjoy it. It's not, it's not one of my favorite things in the world. It is never gonna be one of my favorite things in the world, so trying to do that, uh, like in those videos, I deliberately like, I deleted them because I realized I had no idea what I was talking about. I was talking like right out of my ass and there was no reason for me to be commenting on things if I wasn't gonna research them. Who do you think that I am? I'm no D'Angelo Wallace, for sure. You know, I'm not too much mouth, for sure. I'm not these people. I am not going to look at anything. I'm like, I'm just like, between the ADHD and like the fact that it's not horror, like I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. 
So, you know, don't feel like you have to jump on a trend and realize that there are trends for a reason, right? There are people whose content, that is what they do, and they are always gonna be looked to for that specific content. But, <laughs> When the trend eases, the only ones who stay around are the ones who like that was their content and has continued to be their content. The rest of us who like just randomly jump in every so often, that's not gonna help us out. And that doesn't, that's not good for you. Finally, finally, an actual finally y'all, don't beat me up, listen, I get wordy. I have a list here and then like, I have extra things. So don't, don't be upset. The last thing that I am going to say, I think. <laughs> All right, so for my beauty YouTubers, specifically y'all, because I know that y'all are watching this anyway, right, 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 right? And then to whomever just randomly showed up here, hi, how you doing? Subscribe, like the video. All right, anyway, do not feel like you have to buy every single brand new release so that you can be relevant. Here is why you don't want to do that. One, financially, it can beat you in the ground, especially if you are not monetized, you're not getting any of that money back. The other problem is while that can and often does lead to a large amount of growth, the problem is that you're gonna have to keep doing that. It's very hard. Like, remember what I was talking about with regard to niches? The reason you don't wanna do this is because it puts you in a very specific niche, which is you always have new makeup, right? And when you always have new makeup, all of your subscriber base is always going to be looking to you to have said new makeup all the time. And if you don't want to, or let's say you don't have a good month where you can buy as many of the new releases, it can hurt you. And it is annoying for you later in your YouTube career to not have everything, you know, to want to change that and be like, I don't really want to do that. Like I started out doing this because I knew it would help me grow, but I don't want to keep doing it. You may end up losing people over that. And while you're still going to gain, that's a hard balance to, to play with. Instead, my recommendation, what do I know? I'm not a big YouTuber, but my recommendation honestly is to buy what you're interested in. And then every so often, I believe Halloween's post and does this, but every so often, often like have a small portion set aside where you like buy one or one or two items that maybe your subscribers are interested in that maybe you are slightly interested in but you don't love it but you're like oh, they're in. and then that way you have that you're satisfying your subscribers wants as well but most importantly you're satisfying your wants because there's literally nothing worse than creating content for stuff you don't want okay i i know this <laughs> I very much, very early, I had no choice but to start out this way because I was a broke ass bitch. So there was no way that I was gonna even pretend for one second that I could in any way, shape or form actually, actually buy all the new releases. I couldn't do it. So it's fine, it's fine. So I had to like do things. The other thing too is that you're allowed to be more creative with your giant collection of shit that's sitting around you. Uh, you have more creativity that you can do. You can do get ready with me's, which you all know I do tons of them, but I like to talk about things while I get ready and I like that you all hang out with me for that, so thank you. So yeah, don't, don't feel this overwhelming pressure. I know that the pressure is like really intense. That makes you feel like I gotta buy the things because the only way people are gonna watch my channel is if I have the things. Don't stress yourself out. Just grow organically, do the things that you're gonna do, enjoy the makeup you wanna enjoy. And honestly, this goes for like really any YouTuber if that requires you to purchase things for your channel. Don't buy everything. Sorry I have this on, but I am Marco Poloing with a dear friend and that's all I'm gonna say about that. And also, that's it. That is the video. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too long. You know what, I get windy and I'm so sorry. I'm just long-winded and chatty. I'm being chatty Kathy today. <laughs> all right, and as usual, huge shout out to my patrons. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to have to like add to this song at some point because there's more of you showing up than I was prepared for. Also, quick announcement, fun fact, uh, please hold while I change the battery. This is so fun when the battery is dying. <laughs> 
at the end of the video. Anyway, for those of you who may not have fa friends or family that you are going to be able to uh, spend time with, that's a lot of you, I am hosting a, a Thursday family stream where we are going to partake in some foods. We can eat. You have food on your end. I'll have food on my end. We'll eat, drink, and be merry together. Uh, and unlike regular family day, we're, we're not going to curse uh, each other out and be hateful. I'm not going to ask you why you're not married yet. I am uh, not going to do any of those things. We're not going to argue about politics. We're just going to roast each other a little bit here and there, you know? It's going to be fun. All right, that really is it. That's the video. Let me know what, what tips y'all have as well for uh, small beauty YouTubers, small YouTubers in general. Did any of these tips help y'all out? Have, have this made any of y'all feel better? Because I hope it did. All right, that is really it now. I'm so sorry, I'm so long-winded. And as you always, every single time, it costs zero, zero dollars to be kind, which you should do because it's so good for your soul. And if you don't take care of it, I'm certainly coming for yours. All right, that's it, y'all. XOXO, got the girl. <laughs> what, is that then what is the name of that movie? Now it's escaping me. You know, the name of the movie with Christina Aguilera and Cher. I don't like any of those photos. We'll keep trying. All right, anyways. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job. I'm gonna need to look this up. It's like, da da da! And everybody was singing the note on TikTok. I want to get pictures of this while I look good. Yeah. This is a problem. It's one word. Ooh, that was a good, like, fake Christina. Like, yeah. For frick's sake. I am not helping my case. I'll be back. I'm such a nerd.